All right, welcome back to Building Dad Bod 2.0. Today is just an extra back volume day and some isometric holds for my pressing. Starting off with some uh, McGill style pull-ups. I'm not pulling fully uh, as explosively as I can right now. Uh, I'm still dealing with these forearm injuries, so not wanting to stress them, but just getting used to pulling um, reasonably quick doubles for weight. Um, Easing back into it, don't want to hurt myself, but want to get a feel for it again. And what we're going to do today, I haven't been doing uh, yielding isometric holds lately. So we're going to do these first. So 330 pounds on the bar, just holding it for about 10 seconds in the lockout position. Um, then we're going to go back to doing some pressing up against the rack. Boom. So there's my 10 seconds there. Just one set of uh, 10 seconds there. Oh, and then I did one just held it at my sticking point for about five seconds. Now we're going to go back to uh, overcoming isometrics. So pushing into the rack. Um, so one just right off my chest into the rack. Did three sets here. And then we're doing it a little bit lower today. Just trying to hit a few different positions. So we're not quite at my sticking point. Um, just a little below my sticking point. Just pressing as hard as I can into the rack. Three reps there. Um, three by five to six seconds. And then doing, uh, after that, went back to pull-ups. Just doing body weight now. Basically just wanted to hit uh, 30 reps over three sets. So I hit 12, 10, 8. Um, I tested last week. My max pull-ups are 14 right now, which... Nothing to write home about, but it's not terrible. I haven't been training pull-ups a lot the last few weeks. I've just been letting my forearms rest. Um, so, as we up the weight on weighted pull-ups, and we up some volume on body weight pull-ups, reps should start going up fairly quickly again. Still want to hit uh, 20 reps in the near future, so hopefully by spring I'm bulking, so I'm slowly putting on weight. Um, so doesn't make it easier but doesn't matter ultimately we want to hit it regardless um doing seated uh face pulls kind of high rows here um as the weight goes up doing face pulls i like to do them seated i've tried doing them standing i've tried doing them laying laying works well as the weight goes up but seated is nice you can plant your feet into the floor uh, you can get a good stretch going forward there and then uh really get a good contraction you don't the weight doesn't really pull you forward because you can brace yourself with your feet um, works really well so doing high reps here about 15 reps and then we're going to go into some seated cable rows next so i did uh good mornings the day before this and i got deadlifts on wednesday so the whole point of this back workout is to get extra volume in without stressing my lower back um, so lots of cable work. That's why we're doing the, um, the seated high rows, the seated cable low rows. Um, yeah, just just a way to get get a good uh, good amount of volume um, in my back without stressing my lower back. Got to keep that lower back fresh uh, for the exercises that are actually focused on the lower back. And then uh, finishing off with some Y raises, but doing them straight up. To over fully overhead position um i'm actually like really liking this exercise it hits right around my shoulder blades really really well um here hitting i hit uh three sets of 20 reps and by the 20th rep uh, my upper back is just absolutely on fire so um get a little bit of external rotation in the shoulders too which is good for me uh, i'm always got to be working uh some internal external rotation trying to keep these shoulders healthy as i'm trying to build up my bench press that's it for the workout thanks for watching have a great night